Hello guys and welcome to today's installment of A Computers and Technology, which is really just for fun, just for kicks. It's been a long time since I published the last failure video. I think it's been about five months at this point. Um, and this video has actually been postponed for a very long time as well. As you can see, I have a bunch of white packages right in front of me, mysterious white packages. And inside these packages, well, actually by the title, you guys already know what's inside these packages, or a bunch of uh, uh, SD cards that I ordered off eBay eBay from China. They're high capacity SD cards that sold for very, very, very cheap. And I bought a, uh, in the, I think it was episode four, uh, failure episode four. I will put the link to this episode in the description, uh, but I bought a 32 uh, gigabyte micro SD card off eBay for like four bucks. So I'm like, oh, what a great deal. And then I get it. I run it through uh, H2 test W and it fails. It turns out it was only a four gigabyte SD card masked to look like a 32 gigabyte SD card. They just changed, uh, changed up the firmware and the computer recognized it as a 32 gigabyte SD card. But if you wrote more than four gigabytes to the SD card, it just corrupted all the data um, after four gigabytes, if that makes any sense. So uh, today we're going to be testing all of these SD cards I have right in front of me to see if any of them are actually real. Uh, I bought a variety of sizes, I think from 128 gigabytes uh, all the way down to 16 gigabytes. And some of these sellers that I bought uh, these SD cards from no longer exist because I ordered these SD cards like eight months ago uh, and I'm sure eBay has ratted some of these sellers out. If you want to check some of these sellers out, I will put all the links to them down in the description uh, along with the links to the SD card listings if they still exist. Because once again, it's been a very long time and that's why this episode is uh, kind of just for fun. Uh, now you're probably wondering why I'm not going to use uh, two, I guess, SD card uh, testing softwares to kind of uh, bolster my results. And that's because, you know, these uh, SD cards are probably using really cheap flash and cheap flash tends to be very slow and that would just take forever to test all of these SD cards. I ordered 10 SD cards, only eight actually came. So two of the sellers uh, were just complete shams and they didn't send me anything. And I think those are the sellers that actually no longer exist. So uh, without further ado, I know I'm rambling now, let's go ahead, uh, rip some of these packages open and see what we got. Now, right off the bat, I had the expectation that all of these are fake except for the 16 gigabyte Ronda Full SD card because I believe Ronda Full, uh, I, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe they are a legitimate manufacturer of SD cards. They're just one of the off brands uh, like Silicon Power. So we're gonna throw this one off to the side and if it does end up being real, I will uh, run some benchmarks on this. I bought this one for, I believe, $4.50. Um, so definitely not a bad price for a 16 gigabyte SD card. That's pretty cheap. I mean, you. Can get some of the brand name cards uh, on a really good sale for that amount, uh, but not normally. So uh, we will see if this one is real, but for the most part, I expect the rest of these to be fakes actually, um, especially these two right here, because um, this is the typical generic fake uh, ST card Chinese packaging that you see everywhere. So these are probably definitely fakes. Uh, not really sure about these right here, but I do expect uh, that they will be fake. And as you can see, uh, they tried to make this one look uh, like one of those Samsung Evo SD cards. So now I'm gonna grab a SD card reader and run H2 test W on all of these SD cards. It's gonna take a little bit and it'll be neat to find out if any of these are actually real. All right, so H2 test W is open and ready to go. We have our SD card reader plugged in over here. I put the cards into groups of four. So we have our first group right here and the second group over here, uh, just to make things easier. And we're going to start out with the uh, two SD cards that are identically packaged. Uh, this one that says rapid and the one that looks like a Samsung Evo. So let's go ahead, plug these into my SD card reader. Uh, and see if the flash is real or not. This is that orange and white Samsung clone, and as you can see, the system does recognize it as a 64 gigabyte micro SD card. I'm currently running it through H2 test W right now, and I will update you guys in just a second as to whether it passes or not. And it's going to take way too long to just test one at a time. So I broke out another micro SD card reader and now I am testing uh, the first card from the typical generic fake uh, SD card packaging. 
and I have just started it. And read speeds, or I guess write speeds in this case, are very, very slow. I'm gonna see if I can find another micro SD card reader laying around and get three tests going at a time, uh, because, you know, even with two, it's still gonna take quite a while. Ah, so it appears we have our first failure. This is the 32 gigabyte SD card from that uh, typical generic packaging, and it is indeed a fake using firmware to make it look like a 32 gigabyte SD card, when in reality, it's actually an eight gigabyte SD card. So uh, with that, I do expect this one to be a fake as well, going to test it right now. Uh, but once again, it's probably fake too. And check it out, that Evo clone is also an 8GB SD card masked as a 32GB SD card. So this one is going in the fake pile. And finally out of the group, we are going to test this rapid micro SD card uh, advertised as 64 gigabytes in capacity. I have it plugged into the SD card reader right now and it is showing up properly in Windows. We will see about that though. Let's go ahead and start the H2 test W uh, test and see what it has to say about the true capacity of this SD card. Hey look, what a surprise, that over 32 gigabyte flash drive from the generic packaging is also only eight gigabytes. That rapid 64 gigabyte micro SD card is also only an eight gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, the odd thing about this one is that after writing 30 gigabytes of data to the device, uh, I ran into some issues and I had to stop the writing process and just verify it with only 30 gigabytes of data. Uh, on the micro SD card, which once again isn't really a big deal since this turns out to only be an 8 gigabyte SD card in reality, um, but it was an odd error. Now we are done with this group. All of the SD cards in this group did end up being fake, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the test over here, pull the rapid SD card out, and put it in the fake pile. And now we are going to move on to the next group. So I have uh, our first two micro SD cards lined up. We're gonna try out the Ronda full one, which uh, once again, I do expect to be genuine. Um, and then another uh, generic SD card. This one is 16 gigabytes in capacity. So gonna test these first uh, and then I'll move on to the smaller ones. I have an eight gigabyte micro SD card right here and then a four gigabyte micro SD card over here. Wow, so right now I'm actually genuinely surprised. As you can see, the Ronda full micro SD card did turn out to be legitimate. But if you look over here, that other unbranded 16 gigabyte micro SD card was also uh, valid as well. It's actually a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Um, so that is the one I have in this SD card reader. And as you can see, no brand or anything, but according to H2 test W, the flash inside this thing is at its true capacity or advertised capacity, which is 16 gigabytes. So this one is going in the good pile along with the Ronda full one. And as you can see, I did take the liberty to run uh, Crystal Benchmark on both of those SD cards since they did turn out to be real um, and speeds actually aren't too bad. Now I do have two more micro SD cards left to test. And I actually think both of these are going to be real uh, because they are of a smaller capacity. And why would you counterfeit, you know, such an eight gigabyte micro SD card and a four gigabyte micro SD card? That'd be like counterfeiting $1 bills. Um, so I do expect these two to be real, but who knows, they might not be. As I predicted, both of these ended up hitting their advertised capacities. We have the four gigabyte micro SD card right here and the eight gigabyte micro SD card right here. The four gigabyte micro SD card was unbranded, I believe. So we had the four gigabyte micro SD card right here. And yes, uh, there is no brand on it, but the eight gigabyte SD card uh, is branded uh, Bunzia. I, I, I don't know. Once again, these pronunciations are uh, not my forte, uh, but this one's branded. This one's not. And once again, it does make sense that these actually met their capacities just because they're pretty small and it wouldn't really make sense to fake the capacities. So I'm going to put these over here in the good pile. Um, so as you can see, out of the eight and uh, the two that never arrived, um, four of them were actually genuine. 
and then these over here were fake. Interestingly enough, all of the counterfeit micro SD cards were actually 8 gigabyte micro SD cards masked as higher capacity micro SD cards using that firmware trick. Not really sure what I'm going to do with these. Now I might hook them up to high voltage and see what happens, or maybe I'll put them through a bunch of write cycles and see how long each of them lasts. Uh, suggestions are welcome in the comments section. That's going to be about it for this installment of A Computers and Technology. I guess the moral of the story here is to be weary when you're buying uh, generic, especially high capacity generic micro SD cards or just SD cards in general off eBay. Now that is kind of obvious, most of you probably already know that, uh, but just to reiterate the point. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not already. I'm going to try to match up uh, the links to the proper micro SD card and the proper seller, uh, but I might get it wrong just because it's been a very long time and there are a total of 10 of them, two of which did not come. Uh, so I'm probably going to get some of those links wrong. So just a heads up, they're probably not going to be 100% accurate in the description. Uh, if you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon. All those links will be in the description. And of course, please don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.